I'm here with a different video. In this video, I have an, an Xbox One power supply, and I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to clean it up. Sometimes if you get an error that says, gives you some of the error comes because of the sensor in here, it has a little fan in there. So if it doesn't cool down nicely, it would just shuts down. So it's a good to do this service once in a while. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to clean it up. Let's get into it. So what you wanna do, you wanna flip it over. And as I can see, there's a rubber legging on this one. It just already fell off. So we're gonna remove the three rubber stands on the bottom. The way that we remove it, we're gonna find a pokey thing. So it's a sharp screwdriver. Okay, so we're gonna stick this one right under the these rubbers, right in there in 45 degree angle, and we're gonna press it in. It's gonna insert it right in there, and then we're gonna just op pull it up like a can opener. It's just like that. Right, because if you try to pull this uh, rubbers out, you're just gonna yank the rubbers. I see somebody tried it already. This is what happens. You're just gonna keep breaking the ru uh, the rubber right here. So you wanna remove the plastic in there too. So you wanna, you wanna insert right there and push it all the way in. Once it's in there, you just wanna lift it up. So same thing for the other one. Just put it right underneath there, and then push it all the way in, and then move it around, and it will come out. Or right, prior to any cleaning, always use a something underneath. I'm gonna use a working towel so, because I don't know how dirty is on inside. So we're gonna use a screwdriver. I use the iFixit tool set. And we're gonna be using the secure screw for the torque number 10. So the secure ones that have a little tiny pin and hole in the middle, because this is screws right there, they have a hole right in there too. So they call them as a secure screw. So we're gonna open, remove four of them. They're kind of hard. Once we remove the screws, we want to put it back down face up and lift up the top cover. You want to see this plastic thing comes off. All right. And regarding cautious stuff, I forgot how this goes in there. It goes just like this. All right. Before you continue doing anything, I just want to give you something. This capacitor right here, it could be holding some charge in there. So before touching any component in there, you want to grab a screwdriver just like this with a plastic handle and a metal uh, body right there. And you want to shorten these two pins right there. So you want to put the screwdriver right in between these two for at least five seconds. Okay, so you want to shorten these two legs right there and keep it there for five seconds. You might hear a big, huge, uh, click or beauty spark in there that's fine it's not going to break it's just pretty much discharging this capacitor these are the same capacitor that they use for tasers all that stuff so pretty much once you short it you're not going to break it or anything you're just pretty much discharging it as you can see the fan is in this side and the cable for the fan comes here and goes right to the motherboard so we're going to pull up on this that's the jack for the fan right there and you can see it's really dirty all this dirt in there we got to clean up everything we, we can use the air can compressed air or whatever you like and you can also remove this plastic reflector for the leds you should be able to lift up you can put this one right in the other side the screw where the power jack is and lift it up and remove the board and you can see the whole dust and everything is right underneath so we're gonna clean that and we're gonna 
take it outside and we're gonna blow the air with a compressed air and use a toothbrush an old toothbrush you can use to just clean up everything because you want a nice especially this aluminium sheet it has all these transistors right there so you want to clean up all this nicely that's one and the main one is right here you want to remove this cover to access the fan so grab the bit number zero Phillips and remove the screws right on the plastic remove that screw remove these two tiny ones everything must go here once you remove all those you can just go ahead and lift up this and there you go that's all the dust that was accumulating in there so we want to take it apart and we want to clean up use again with a toothbrush you're gonna hold it and just go ahead clean up the fence and blow the air right through here you can blow the air right through there and remove the excess of the dust all right so i'm gonna go outside and clean up the whole thing with an air can and with a compressed air and i'll be back now that we have it all cleaned up this is how a clean one should look like I nice and tidy so we're gonna grab I didn't do a good job on the bottom casing I guess but you can just do a better job than me all right you want to grab the bottom one you want to slide remember this board has to go down on this uh, tiny gaps right there the tiny spot right there underneath so you want to put this end down all the way and then put the other side just let it go down otherwise it's gonna stay up place the cable grab the reflector for the light put it right there and now we're gonna put this to one side we clean up the fan nice and clean uh, again you can do a better job cleaning the whole thing all right now we're gonna put the two biggest screws right here to hold the fan in the chassis right there there we go now we're gonna place the fan right where it's supposed to be just drop it there put the two screws and there we go so the last thing is to grab the connector for the fan plug it right there just align it on top and push it all the way down and the last thing is Put it on top, align it, make sure the cable, the rubber is right aligning, and then squeeze it. And then put it upside down and put the bottom screws. Again, thank you for watching guys, and I hope you really like this video. If you liked it and it helped you guys, click that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, any requests, you know where to leave them. I'll try to answer my comments. Or request every day if I might be delayed by a day or so but I'll try to get to them and the last thing is putting all the bottom screws thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video